so welcome back students to one more session of your alkynes that is the last topic of your uh, or the last uh, concept of the chemical properties of alkynes today we'll be learning the polymerization reactions of alkynes so when i have to speak about polymerization there are two types of polymerization there is cyclic polymerization as well as linear polymerization now i'll be showing you the cyclic polymerization of alkynes cyclic polymerization of alkynes Done. so now what what is important here you have the different the basic alkynes that is acetylene acetate now what happens is whenever i take acetylene now i'm going to take three moles of acetylene what is polymer basically a combination of monomers to form a long chain polymer polymer means many units suppose if i take three moles of acetylene and introduce this in red hot iron tube okay right at what temperature at 873 kelvin see here this bond shifts here this bond shifts here this bond shifts here and together they're going to form a cyclic structure that is benzene so this is benzene monomers are combining together to form polymers this is the polymerization see here this is a straight chain now it has formed a cyclic structure hence it is cyclic polymerization reaction suppose if i take the next type now i'm going to change in alkene now i'm going to take propyne so propyne again this is propyne is three carbon chain this is ch and this is your ch now i'm going to take the same propyne but here now i'm going to take the ch3 in here ch3 c triple bond ch now the third unit here i'm going to take ch triple bond c ch3 see here i started from here and ended here i started from here and ended here i started from here and ended here all three are three different directions now as i said this bond shifts here okay this bond shifts here this bond shifts here it's going to form a cycle cycle now, now i said we're going to take in red hot iron tube what temperature 873 all are going to together form a cyclic ring structure and ch3 is here ch3 is here ch3 is here what is the name of this compound it is right this is first position second position third fourth fifth and sixth okay so we have first position we have methyl group one third position we have methyl group fifth position you have methyl group one three five trimethyl benzene yes this is also called as mesitylene mesitylene this is one type of polymerization this uh, polymerization one more uh, let me take one more example let me take out the page and one more example suppose if i take again three moles of acetylene i'm now i'll be taking four moles one i'll be writing here four monomers of acetylene are going to undergo polymerization reaction that is a cyclic polymerization now here you're going to introduce nickel cyanide you're going to take uh, or maintain the conditions of pressure under pressure right it's the same thing again this bond shifts here, this bond shifts here, this bond shifts here, this bond shifts here. Finally, what do I get? 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay. Now, how many I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Octa, isn't it? What octa is it? Now, I need to write the uh, bonds also. There's still one bond inside. One bond here, one bond here, one bond here, one bond. So, this is cyclo octa tetraene. Tetraene. Okay, tetraene. Tetrain. Okay. Cyclo octa tetrain. So this is these are the polymerization reactions of benzene. Suppose if I have to show you, okay, uh, students, one basic thing in your in your NCRT textbook only there is only one part which is uh, shown. So please practice this. Let me show you one more page. Think. Suppose if I take one more example, acetylene only, but here I'm going to take four. So this. Then what happens all are going to show cyclic cyclization and finally i get 